I'm expecting a jab maybe, right? So I'm just gonna attack it. Uh, hit, hook, drive. Right. Can we do it? I know we can't do it. Keep that before. Hands up. All right, tense, let's see it. Take your time, attack his lead hand, hook with the body, and hit the throat. I love it. You're just hitting the guy. Now, if you want to get complex, we're going to do a ton of jujitsu here and there, but let's kind of think about this. I don't want to get hit with that. This is how I'm typically going to block it, right? So again, before he even gets to, to throw it, I'm going to move in and I'm going to get past him. I'm going to get my head in here. Now, for him to hit me effectively, his weight's on this foot, he's not going to lift and knee me. He might try to knee me. That's going to be a mistake because then he's going to be on one leg. I'm going to throw him. He might try to drop his elbow on my back. He lifts his hand up, right? But he's going to hit me mostly with the back of the arm rather than with the elbow. He can't effectively punch me with his right hand, okay? So I'm pretty safe. Then when I hit him, I hit him so hard that I push him back so his hips are back. That gives me this leg, I hook, I drop. Now, what do I do? If he ties me up, the first thing I wanna do is clear this hand and just push across his face and move this leg up so I can reach him out, okay? I want the top. Can we do it? Now, he may do something different, but ultimately, it's gonna be this, this, this. Push here, and then try to get to the top. Let's go. He throws the punch, I fade. Now I hit him again. Take him down, and I'm still looking for this. Right? I move it here. He ties me up. No problem. I pin, and I start hitting him here. All right? This is the one. That's there because when I was here, I cleared. I cleared this. He ties me up. I control him, and I start nailing him with this. Okay? That should distract him. Hopefully, at that point, I can make a little shift and move up. Try to get him in half guard, which will make him do this. If you can, if his leg is left behind, try to control whatever leg's left behind in that position. Tie up one leg if you can. The more tants can frustrate me, the more tired I'm going to get. Okay? How do I know I'm tired? First thing is, but how does he know I'm tired? First thing is, is my mouth's going to be open. That's a tell, it's like in poker. Got to keep the mouth closed, or if it's, if it's open a little bit, right? If you're, and the shoulders drop when you breathe, he's like, he's tired. And that's when we're gonna aggress, right? So we're watching all those tells. So there's the punch, I move, and I'm gonna hit him, kaboom, right? Hopefully I knock a little bit of wind out of him. I get this move, right? He goes down, now watch this right hand. I've been doing this nicely, right? Now I'm gonna hit him, pow. Then I'm gonna hit him again, pow, here, right? Good, I'm going to start shucking this here. Then I'm in this position for the arm lock. You see how everything led, one led to the other? Let's do it again super slow. Tense makes the jab, and I get here, hit, take down. He ties me up, no problem. On the way over, this one drives into his face. Hit him again, right? Push, go here. You see I've got his arm already? Lift, push, go for the arm lock. Can we do it? Can't think of bringing back any memories. This seems very familiar. I'm not a for any martial art. The more we breathe, the longer we can last. The longer we can last, the more opportunities we have to do damage. So we want, right? If somebody's got me tired, rather than going, and they look like I'm tired, I'm gonna go. Now he might say he's tired, but I'm gonna give an impression that I'm still dangerous. It's still better than going, and looking like, oh my God, I think I'm gonna die. That's the one look we don't want to get, right? So a little, right? Get a little lower in your stance, right? Get ready to move if you need to, right? Cleanse, a couple, three cleansing breaths, get back in the fight. Ready, sir? Let's talk self-defense completely. This is now, we're not really in an MMA <clears throat> tournament or we're not in the ring doing some jujitsu or whatever else. For whatever reason, I've got to take this guy down and quickly, right? If he's a boxer and he throws that big jab and I get here, I'm going to hit him in the groin, right? So I'm gonna slap his thigh. That's gonna be the same move that basically I was doing here, okay? I'm gonna slap the thigh, right? Then I'm gonna hit this and go back. Now, once I move up here and I hit him with this one, right? I'm gonna hit him again in the groin. Push this, right? Get past, now I'm gonna hit him in the face. Then I'm gonna hit this. So every opportunity in self-defense, we're looking for a solid to the groin, attacking the throat or attacking the face, particularly the eyes are good. 
So again, keep those a jab. One, two, three. All right, cut across, hit here. If I got some space, I hit him in the groin again. Push, move up, he holds. I start hitting here, then I make this move. Okay, if he tries to resist me here, he pulls this back, all right, no problem. I just start hitting him here, right? Or I can hold this and I can hit him here in the body until he loosens up. Can't do this in a, self, in a uh, jiu jitsu tournament. They frown upon that. It's considered rude. Okay? All right. You guys get to free play your strikes inside this system. Whenever you feel like you can make a knee, an elbow, right? You can do anything that you really think would work. Don't hit him directly in the groin. Tates will take that personally and vice versa. <laughs> but you should slap the thigh close to the groin. That'll simulate. Give it a chance to me with this one. Bank, make some space. Get your head back on. He throws it again, right? Make your shot. Groin here, right? Now, what do I want to do at this point? I'm probably going to go right back into what we did last time. So he's going to be here. Strike, strike, hit. All right, now. I'm gonna pin down and I'm gonna ram my head straight on up here, then hit him, then move over this way, then I'm in position to hit here. Okay? So a couple of stunning shots. He's gonna be kind of like this anyways, not liking that he's on the ground. If he's really good, he'll still tie you up. But if you slide up and ram your head up across his face, it sets up the next elbow, and you can just keep working. I miss you. The coolest. Kickboxing is, as cool as jiu-jitsu is, fighting dirty is the only thing you really should do outside, really. All right? So again, let's say, for example, Tanz happens to be a really good grappler. Well, let's say, for example, that he does throw this punch, and I, get, I do get to here. Let's say he goes for a choke, right? He starts sticking that, right? Bip, bip, bip. How long is he going to try to make that good team while I'm hitting him in the groin? Hopefully not wrong. All right? Now, I get here. He goes for guillotine. I strike, right? Thing that I don't want to do is I don't want to let him crank me this way. I don't want him to drop it to the guard and pull me into it this way. Right? These are going to be awful for both, you know, for all that. So again, I get here and I make this strike. Do I make it? I want to be in a good posture. He needs me down here where I'm going for this leg. So there's a little sensitivity there. So I go one, hit the groin, I step through now. I slide to this position, and I can move back to the top to this position, and I can start my punches, and I can start moving them until I get where I want to get, which was back to here, right? All right, I'm here. Where's the hidden strike? It's here, okay? Does that make sense? We're already doing this. Why not do this? Then I sit, right? I hit him again, and I make this arm block. So all of these hidden hand techniques are what dirty fighting MMA guys do. And by the way, as long as you're not raking the eyes, probably they have a couple on in an MMA ring, growing the eyes are kind of off limits, but you can still, all these elbows, still good. Play. Same method. Block this, think about where you want to hit, how you want to get in. Take them down. Think about how I'm going to hit up to the arm bar, make the arm bar, and then hit him again. See if you help it because my pants cinched you up. Choke me out. He would have given me a nice little half choke. All right, so he does this. I do this. Let's assume he's been neutered. He has no balls. I don't know. But maybe it's a girl you're fighting and she's an MMA champion, and that doesn't hurt that much. Whatever, right? You're here. You make the strike. He starts to do this. The one thing you don't want to do is get in a position where he can definitely choke you. But let's say that he does. He pulls you down, he ties you up, and he gets here. You want to get your head up as high as possible and then start pushing away and arching your back. Now, he might be able to power me down, hence the choke. If he gets you back down, you're in trouble. You've got to be able to be here, push hard, right, and try to pass the guard. If you can't and he starts powering you in, you want to go back to this. It's hard, not impossible, for him to choke me. Go ahead and choke me, Tats. Work, baby, work. Work. All right. And right. you see how I bought myself some time? He had to knead it, massage it in, right? You're kneading bread. You had to work it in. The thing you don't want to do 
Because when you fall, you fall with your head up, right? You fall and you do this. Because now he's got the choke and it, <laughs> it's only like a half a second to death. Pin that down, drive the shoulder forward and make the hole small. He might be crushing the face a little, but he won't be getting the neck. The butt up in the air gives me time. This shoulder is the key piece. I want to push the arm out and away this way. Start pushing down here. Try to get past if I can. If I can't, I gotta do what I can to try to minimize this. And I want him to get tired. I can start hitting him here, right? Sooner or later he lets go, hopefully, which gives me a chance to move to something better. Even if he goes ahead and passes and gets back in the guard, at least I'm not being choked. I can get back to what I'm good at. A couple of strikes, clear the hands, a couple of these strikes, drive with the elbow. This is better than this. This is the worst thing in my opinion. I mean, lots of guys go out, out quick with their YouTube. Crunch, shoulder, so you blade the body a little bit, and you start trying to minimize, okay? So we're gonna evade this one here. We're gonna go behind, right? By the way, if I wanted to strike him in the groin, it would be here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to sweep underneath and I'm going to throw him this way and move to the top this way. Okay? Did you get all that? Kind of. <laughs> I saw this amazing meme that was like the four steps of not understanding what your coach just did. I got it. It's the first step. Yeah, I got it. The second step is, did you get it? The third step is, let's watch and see who else got it. Nobody else got it. We're all here looking stupid. That's the fourth step. I gotta show things over and over because there's multiple steps, right? He goes one, right? Instead of going here, right? I strike and I move to here, to the side, okay? Yeah. This goes underneath and I'm gonna lay down and using this hand, I'll pull him across my chest this way. Back him up, pass him over and try to make it to the top, okay? He spun me nicely into his guard, not the end of the world, okay? Try to make the takedown. Right, the chance to jump on. Stay it's off of the jab. It could be off of anything, right? Let's say, for example, the chance wants to grab me instead, right? He makes a good grip, and I'm like this. How am I going to get out of this thing, right? So most of the wrestlers are going to do kind of a lift, right? So I'm going to pump him up, and then I'll go here, and I'll kind of get to this position, right? If I can get to here, right? I'm going to move him in, take control, put my top position. Start working in here, clear, work here, move up. He's protecting his head from the elbow, which is super smart. I come up and I can hit this way, clear him, clear him. That's what I want there. Let's hit him again. And then we move to here, okay? These are particularly uncomfortable and dirty in jujitsu. Let's not break fingers in jujitsu unless you're a street. <laughs> Doesn't take much to break fingers. Okay. All right, That's right. Stuff. we did some defensive stuff. We're gonna start here. And I'm gonna hit him, pow, pow. I'm gonna reach in and I'm gonna try to move into this position. If I can, I'd like to move all the way around and start tying up this hand, however I can. If I can tie up the hand, I can do valley drop, right? Tanya and Tosh, this hand goes, this foot goes down, I pull him, and then I roll him, okay? Now, if he holds onto this hand, which he might want to do, I let him have it, and I start hitting him in the head, okay? He'll start defending and let him go, then I'm gonna hit him again for pun and punish him for grabbing my hand. He's gonna to try to probably roll over if he can. I'm gonna to try to be in a, the best position possible so that I can ultimately get back to the top position, okay? Or make a choke from the rear. Cool? So again, if I can hit him with this first one, I wanna lift his chin. That gives me this one. That gives me this one. Try to tie up the hands. If I can get the hands, this becomes a seat belt. I want to get that foot, pull him across my leg, lift him, roll him. All right? If he resists me here, all right, he doesn't want me to roll him, I hold on to this hand and I start pushing. Okay? By the way, in self defense, there's his groin. Right? In wrestling, they call this chicken the oil. They grab a hold of your butt cheeks to make the roll. It's pretty uncomfortable, right? All right, so anyways, I make to this move. If I was a wrestler, I'd want to use this and tripod and 
bridge him over, but I don't really want him on his back because he's good on his back, right? We're going to go ahead and take him from here. I'm going to get this, and I'm going to step over, and I'm going to get this arm bar. Okay? Have some fun with it. By the way, let's, let's make a safety, uh, a safety note. I hit him, pow, pow, right? And I bump him, and his leg is like this, and I sit on his leg and try to pull him. Guess what's gonna happen to his knee? I'm gonna jack up his knee. He's gonna tear up the MCL, maybe the ACL. Try to get to here. I can't do it. If my leg's behind him, I can't easily sit on his leg. I see a lot of guys doing this, and when they sit, they tear that knee up. Okay, I'm trying to get in the back position for safety purposes. Really should be to set the next thing up. Okay? I could hit him here. I can hit him here, I can hit him here. Make sense? All right? I can hit him here, I can hit him here. All of these things we'll talk more about when we're kind of focused on striking. Today I wanted to work takedown and get down and let strike from the ground. Once you immobilize something, somebody, they no longer have footwork. So you'll notice that if I wanted to punch Tance and he's standing, he's gonna probably block. I can just bop, bop, bop him, right? And he's gonna block and then he's gonna start his footwork. He'll start moving away from me, right? And if I throw the kick, he can defend against that, right? And I can kick him again, he's gonna defend against that. Once I take his ability to move away, then I can do what I want. So I'm gonna try to get this, I'm gonna try to hit him here, cover, grab. Now I'm where I want. I drop him, I roll him, right? This time, I'm gonna hold him here and I'm gonna throw a few of these, right? And I've got an opportunity for a nice choke, okay? No bars. All right, so when he's in that position, it's under this armpit and up by his, under his jaw, past his ear and grab, that's the starting position. You might not choke him from there. You gotta roll him up a little bit and that's a good place to kind of get to, okay? Try to make entry and then ultimately try to, uh, if you can slide, he's in the turtle position, the referee position. Try to slide out. Can't give it a shot. 